And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. All right. So we've got a good amount of money in the bank, and uh, our lines are now really working well. Uh, the, uh, the forest is actually upgrading. So we are maxing out the production of the forest, and we are now basically... Um, almost filling or pretty much filling this train with the logs to the lumber mill every trip and we're the amount of logs or amount of lumber it's just delivered to here uh was a full load as well so i think on the next run after it drops the logs off we're going to send it to the depot and add a couple gondolas onto the the train to have it deliver even more but in this episode i want to uh we're, we're the food system is great we're delivering lots of food but we're not delivering it to the center of the city as efficiently as we can so one of the things i want to do is upgrade the the line upgrade the vehicles in the line and it's going to be a, a pretty hefty amount of money and so we have these two max de delivering tools, which is great. We have an automatic one as well, and he has got food on him because it's the they pick up like the most plentiful objects. So we actually want to replace these vehicles with the Mac, and we want green, and we want to replace vehicles automatically, and we want to set it at twenty five percent and do yes. And let's let it run, and as they should replace, so like this one should replace itself. Bingo, just like that. They re they get replaced without having to go to the depot, which let me tell you is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal thing being able to do that. So now that we have, uh, we got a few more left. So let's maybe speed it up just a little bit. let all of these other ones upgrade did now do they upgrade after they dump their cargo that's the question let's see they do so they dump their cargo and get the money and then get replaced which is what we want so we got a couple more left there's that one and there's that one so now that this is done I want to set it back to 100, back to no, and that line is now upgraded. We are good to go. The second line I want to do is the raw food. And let's do this one, same thing. And go, oh, we want to click on this one, go to green. Uh, hit 25, and yes. So these should upgrade pretty fast because it's a short route. So there we go, we're upgrading the, the food. We're able to carry more, which is good. And we're able to go a little faster and they have a little bit more power to, to go up a hill. So you can see the difference in how fast they go. It's really nice. Deliver, upgrade, and you're good. So now with that, I want to set it back 100, it's back to no, and we are good. Now they're just going to pick up. I'm not specializing them in any way uh, because this thing, we know our production is, is good, but it could be way better. Um, it would have been way better if this would have actually covered this. And I think I could do that if I made a road directly right up to the front door, but I would have to, I would have to carve through the fields and it's 200 grand to carve through the fields any given time um, as far as our boats are concerned we are filling up with food basically every round um, this thing could have more this thing definitely could have more so I think with these trucks upgraded what we're gonna do is actually buy some new ones now that we've upgraded this line they're all gonna be about the same age 
Uh, so we're gonna buy four more. And we're gonna set the line to raw food. And now we're just going to deliver that much more food. Let's see, are you going to the right? Please go to the right one. All right, good. So now we've got tons and tons of food going. <clears throat> and wait, let's pause. Uh, I want to set this line. Raw food, Spokane Central, full load. Now that we have more trucks on there, I want to make sure that they have a full load and this thing is producing at its maximum delivery rate. Because vehicles, um, their maintenance, so uh, let's see, their running costs uh, are lower if they're, if they're sit sitting still. So he has got grain and they, they delivered livestock. So that's kind of a that's kind of a sucky thing. But maybe that will catch up in time. Just deliver some grain. I need how many grain? Eight grain. Four more grain. And we should be good. And that way this thing will just pack it in. And we got 47 food on the way, so we're delivering way more food now. And do I have this thing? I have this thing also set as full load, so he'll wait until one of those trains arrives. And looks like our trucks here are doing pretty good. He shows as a full load, but it's his truck is not full. So now we are delivering crap tons of food in here. Uh, oh, no, I wanted to click the sign. Yeah, lots of food. And how about tools? How are our tools doing? Tools, we got 11 now. So where's our train for wood? Train for wood is loaded, ready to go. Like I said, it's probably upgraded. Yep. So we're going to want to upgrade this train as soon as it drops off all those logs. So let's speed it up so we can get that train over here a little ways. And I'm not sure if this train is actually making money yet. Yeah, he's not making money yet. But once we start filling, filling him up with uh, tools, I think that'll go a long ways. Oh, look at this. One of these is probably going to have to stop once it hits this switch. Oh, no, maybe not. This one just... This one is just flying by. Okay, this has got 11 tools in it now. That's awesome. Um, but we're going we're gonna to kind of stall the system just a little bit to add some gondolas onto this train here. And I want it to deliver... I gotta, I gotta watch it, make sure. Uh, yeah, we're, ooh, just in time for a new bus, it looks like. Right when they start getting old, a new bus comes along. I think that's a bus. It looks bus-like to me. So yeah, we've got 50 planks here now, which is gonna fill this up. So we wanna, as soon as this logs is empty, we wanna set it to go to depot. So it's gonna deliver, give us some money, and go. Twelve. All right. We got lots. Well, let's speed it up so we can get this done as fast as possible. Pause it so we don't, uh, let's see, buy trains. And that was, those are what? 
I think the stake car. Yeah, logs, steel, planks. Good, good, good. So let's buy and let's make sure they are the right color. Um, one, two, three more of those. Hefty cost, but worth it. Worth it in my book. Okay, set line. So we want wood planks. And let's run. And I want to actually go to Spokane transfer first. So let's uh, get this up. And we're going to try to reverse it here as soon as it gets there. Spokane transfer, which is where we want to go. Good, good, good. Delivering some tools. Now we've got tons and tons of planks here. How many can we hold? 84 now. <clears throat> so we're just scaling up the system as production goes up. Now we're going to deliver 84 planks, which is going to be a ton of tools. So, and it's going to slow this train down a bit because of all the weight that it's now having to pull. So let's, oh, look at this little dilemma here. Yeah, I had to add another couple signals on here because the train was just stopping when this train was on, not in a station. So that was a little problem. So 85, we're slowly building up. You can see we're slowly building up the income with the planks. And we should be pulling in here. See how much money we get for that nice big load of planks. 469,000. This train is making money hand over fist. Look at that. 2 million it made last year. So yeah, we are making tools like crazy. Hopefully now. So we have 84. That's exactly the amount we can hold. So it's probably going to fill up. But we've... we've uh, Why is this logs? I know I can hold more than 12 logs on there. So do we have tools yet? We do. It kind of takes a while for this to process tools and to deliver them to here. Because they sit right here until they get delivered. So that's just going to deliver one tool, which kind of sucks. But as production goes up, we should start filling this station up with tools pretty fast. Especially once we get uh, steel going. So here's another thing we can use planks. Oh, there's a... That's another machine factory, just like this one over here. Uh, this one I could probably... Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if we're going to mess with that one at all. So here we could actually deliver grain to get some plastic. Um, but plastic is used here. Steel and plastic make make tools. But we don't have any steel yet. We need to get a steel steel production going. And there's goods. So here we have goods. We have planks and plastic or planks and steel to make goods. Um, which is another goods route we can use in this system here because if you look, goods is the last thing for shopping. Okay, let's take a peek back at, look at these farms over here. This farm, this farm with this processing center. Oh, yeah, that would be a nightmare but the steel situation, again, I've got this steel right here. I've got coal and iron. And here, two refineries kind of screwed me on. There's stone. What uses stone? 
I'm not aware. There's more stone. What uses stone? I haven't seen a stone thing. That's iron. Yeah, I'm not <clears throat> I'm not aware of what uses stone. I'm not seeing a little icon anywhere. There it is. Stone to make construction material. But that is a long 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 way from this quarry. That would be a, quite the trek. Look at our passenger service over here. That's insane. We need to beef that up if we can. Look at the money we make. Okay, so nothing waiting right here. We should have a full load of logs. And this guy's got five tools now. He's not even burnt out of all of his wood. And he's got all these tools. Why aren't the tools being delivered right away? That should that should happen. You should be delivering those things right away. Not sure why it's not. This guy has got some planks. Ready to go. How much? These guys should have a full load of food. So I'm delivering just five tools. This might hit food first. Yeah, it's going to hit food first. <laughs> This is because of all the food that we just delivered. It always grabs the, the, the highest amount. We've already got 61 planks ready to go over here again. And he is now filling up with planks. Twenty four is just that time. That's unfortunate. Got lots of wood over here. He should, yeah, he's got bumped, he, he bumped up his production. So it's good that we're starting to deliver the, all those logs because we're going to need them. Again, with the tools, you should be, should be maxing that out pretty steadily. Okay, bus lines. We need to look at auto-replacing bus lines. So, uh, heart passengers, let's look at the new Snyder. 10 passengers, 22 miles an hour. Okay, I think, I think it's good. Well, we're going to want to make it green. And go. And yes. See if any of these get swapped out. Good. Uh, I'm going to set that at 25 just to make sure they're all getting swapped out. Almost, almost got them all. Let's uh, speed it up a little bit. And it should, we should uh, lock that in. There's one. And two. Okay, so 100% no. So let's do this one. Same way. Let's uh, slow it down so it doesn't freak out on me. Uh, we're going to Schneider. And yes, 25%. 
And let's speed it up. These should all get replaced. Pretty quickly. One more. Just one. There it is. 100%. No. So now all of our buses have been upgraded, which is fantastic. And <clears throat> we might want to think about now that we have some serious money. Uh, replacing this thing because it's getting a little old 21 years and its lifetime is uh, 25 years I want to say so that I think is the Atlantic 40 years oh wow that's got that's got some life left in it But we're going to want to upgrade that anyway. Let's uh, slow things down and look at look at what our options are to replace that. Um, like this car here would be nice. 19 passengers, uh, I think, versus the 16. I mean, that's three more passengers. But the cost, uh, running cost, 242000 a year. Versus 83,000. I mean, that is a huge difference. We could put a, a heftier locomotive on it. Although that... We may want to splurge and maybe do the electric. We're going to need to electrify our wire or our, our run. But this train with... Maybe these cars, these six axles, might be a good might be a good replacement for that because it's over half you know half of its age, and the number of passengers we're able to move back and forth is pretty pretty high. So we still haven't been building over here, which which kind of sucks. Maybe if I put a bus stop over here and then route it around. I don't know. So many options, so many things to do. Oh, it looks like we delivered another set of planks and wood. So how many tools do you have on you? Ten tools. Good. We're, we're delivering the tools again. And we've got the tools here. Good, good, good. All right, well, that will do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.